Ho, ho, ho. Is that, com is that coming out alright? Well, we're going with it anyway. It's that time of year again. It's been a year since I last played, well, a Christmas themed challenge of this game. <laughs> I've got another run on the backburn, but I've put it on pause because it's the season of, of frost and the season of cold. Remember, I'm feeling really nippy. We've had some negative degrees and ice and snow already, so we're going to try and survive. But you see, I've got that that great um, Celtic bloodline, so I think I'm going to be able to survive it. And we're going to test that to see if I can I can organise my my people to prosperity in this scenario. Um, where is it? Ice Age. Earth Ice Age. So hopefully, you know, I'm gonna have the advantage here. Uh, there is actually a different Ice Age map here. You can do this one, but it puts you in random places. You do this when you get the actual location of your, your save, so... Let's see what we've got. We've got this dude. I'd like to say he looks like me, but he doesn't, because his hair is, like, much lighter than mine. Oh, whoa, one moment. I need to disable that overlay. Got a spectator here who's trying to join in and heckle me. Uh, let's find the game capture for this though. Let's see if colonization. No, that's the audio capture. Yeah, yeah, man, I'm gonna play some Civ. I'm I can't I can't find the game capture for it though. Oh, that's because he's using the colonization window. See if it's got rid of it. Yeah, that's got rid of the overlay. All right, uh, Mr. Heckler, do you want to be captured in this audio for this Christmas theme challenge? I'll share my screen with you. Yeah. Um. Sorry, I've just gotten to the end of all my work. All right, I'll catch you up to speed then. The viewers won't mind. All, all two of them. Well, I'm playing the Ice Age Challenge. You're not in the audio, no. I mean, I could test it for you if you want. Uh... You sure you don't care? Alright, say hello. Hey. Alright, uh, all two viewers, you know, they'll be shocked because they've heard you again. They've only heard you, like, twice in the entire year, even though you're, like, yeah, always lurking. Going? He's back. Yeah, he's back. Oh, we, we love you, random guy. Where's his, his channel? I want to watch his channel. He's good at games. You suck. Oh, that's not nice. Anyway. Oh, dude, his voice is so much better than yours. Yeah, yeah. He sounds taller and more chatly. <laughs> Alright, what are we doing? Alright, anyway, this is the scenario because it's, it's for Christmas, isn't it? Play scenario. Sure. Ice Age. What if civilization started developing 20,000 years before the present? Now what's cool about this, this is the Beyond the Sword version, so there's actually two versions. Uh, Earth, this one puts you, this one's bigger, it's got more sibs in it, but it contains modern leaders as well, such as like the Americans and junk, and it puts you in a random location. Lame! You know, we're playing alternate history here. If you're playing alternate history, you're going to want this one. It gives you his, historically appropriate leaders, and it puts you in the actual location of that civilization. So it's like playing like Rise and Fall or whatever, except obviously not as in depth. Oh, so you're gonna get like uh, I'm actually uh, gonna be in Europe if I pick the, these guys. The Egyptians, the Celts. Yeah, you got the Celts, the Incans. Lol. He's alright, he's actually probably alright in this this challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Some, some no. 
I mean, he's good if you're next to him because you just invade him and take all of his work. And <laughs> and if we give you like one time, he's he's pretty good. Was he around? He was. No, he was uh, later. He, he would have been later, but obviously it's like it's to fill the power vacuum. <laughs> he, he's a bit. He's a bit out of order. You know, if we're gonna, if we're gonna complain about this guy, we're gonna complain about him too. He's not really appropriate for this time period either. But whatever. Yeah. Neither is him. Well, I, I don't know. They, they weren't really. Were they really document? Mines really documented, like. No, but like, there was in like 500 AD when they built their wonders. You know what, dude? This isn't historically appropriate. Oh, this sucks. Anyway, we're gonna play it. Indians, the Zulu, Greek. Unfortunately, I'm not able to play as the Greeks. Even though, is he any good? He'll probably be alright, I guess. Where the, where you start is important. These guys are the best. But it's not really historic. It's not really seasonally appropriate if I'm stuck in the middle of North Africa and the wind <laughs> full plains, is it? We got to play as my people. These these are me. This could have this. He could have been my ancestor. You know, he looks a, a bit like. Maybe someone in my family, if they, they had fairer hair. <laughs> so you don't look like anyone in my family at all. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to play it on Monarch. Yeah. I'm going to play on Normal, okay. So... It's, it's set in the Ice Age, so it's the same world, it's like models based off the Earth. I'm going to put my lights on. Obviously, obviously, so it's shaped like the Earth, but you're going to start in your historically appropriate location. So this is this is the world. Now, I think it's a bit weird that my people don't know more about other lands, if I'm going to be honest. It's like they just popped in, into existence. Didn't really work like that, did it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they just I, came out of that. I kind of like, I kind of like know where everything is in this like local area, but I mean, probably, I, I probably wouldn't be able to see the map, but I might be able to like see that, like, ooh, the 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 bison are over here, and this is where like, I mean, the endless waters. You know what I mean? There'll be like stories about the land, but whatever. We just gotta, we just gotta pretend they're not well documented. Okay. Now I'm playing on Monarch, so I have to actually try. I have to actually like think. I can't just go Grug mode, and also I'm not playing Rome or anything. So my leader, I'm Brenus. Br Br Brenus is he? Is he the Woe to the vanquished guy, or is that someone else? Oh, that that was a uh, Virtuum Getrix. Oh yeah, yeah. Was it? I don't know. I thought it was the guy that led the rebellion afterwards, and he was like, "Brown brings a desert and calls it peace and prosperity." They they kill they kill a village and call it peace. Uh, I I would, I would need a fact check. I, I thought it was Virtuum Getrix. We can always bring up the Civilpedia and check. You know, because this yeah, is like, this is the best way to you know learn history. <laughs> yeah, this is history class. Other than that, he was the first of a successful warrior. He led army Celt on an on an invasion of Macedonia, and northern Greece. Turn the Greek defense of the past and sat the famous oracle at Delphi. Yeah, the oracle of Delphi tells me you're the strongest, yo. <laughs> Albania. Looted the Temple of Zeus. You telling me? What is the most powerful weapon? So yeah, no, he ain't the guy, but I guess he, he isn't... isn't He's pretty tough, he's pretty tough. He, he looks quite friendly for a guy that supposedly went off on, the, on Warlord and killed a bunch of people and stuff. Maybe, yeah, maybe what, maybe what the... A guy who probably keeps his uh, heads on pikes. Well, well, well maybe, maybe all, all them stories from them Greeks and Romans is just a little bull. You know? Maybe it's just a lot of bull, those warmongering yeah. little evil, evil, blooming bug people. Building their little ant hills. He looks like a free spirit, he looks happy. He probably treats, you know, women with equality and has like social security <laughs> systems and peaceful trade, you know? Well, uh, they, did, they did have uh, social security. Yeah, no, that's, that's, the, that that's the, the joke. That was, that was the only uh, experience, or the only instance of like, I don't know. Female equality kinda... and, and stuff too. You, 
Yeah, the, well, well, well that's, like, that's like kind of what, what like Northern Europe is now. I mean, they, they, they just have, they basically just have like a social security, like welfare state. But that would explain this bit down here. Uh, the spiritual bit. I, I guess, I guess if you change spiritual to like, I don't know, like libertarian or something, you know, for that, that creativity, that AMCAP system, maybe it'll make a bit more sense. <laughs> but, uh, Sure, we just worship different gods or whatever. Uh, yeah. In Minecraft. In Minecraft, yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'm playing I'm the Brinus, so I have spiritual and charismatic. Yeah, Harold, you're gonna genocide the. Uh, the <laughs> I'm gonna... all, these, all these other civs in in civ. Maybe, probably not. Though. Yeah, probably yeah, gonna yeah, try yeah, yeah. Well, we'll just in civ though. Just in civ. So wait, I always get plus one happy. That's nice. I, I, I probably need to take advantage of that bonus. I'm, I'm probably going to try and play this as like a culture game because if you like look at my leader's stats, oh, I'm spending a lot of time in this, but you kind of have to like because I'm not very good at the game. If you look at a spiritual double production speed of temple, that's pretty good if you go on cul uh, culture. This bit is not so much culture, but an extra happy. I don't know. I can I can have a bigger population. I can run an extra specialist. You know, maybe, maybe I could do something like that. Um, How are you meant to, like... Play this guy. Yeah. Like I said, I think spiritual is kind of like... That tells me you want to play a culture game. Yeah. Or you kind of stack it with this. So if you... I think it's charismatic. Kind of like... Although I feel like charismatic's a little, like... Yeah, it, it, it's a little uh, like all over the place. Yeah, the thing with charismatic is kind of like you get an extra happy per city, which is like I guess that's all right. You get bigger cities, but it's kind of like yeah. But wouldn't I rather just have quicker settlers so I can get more cities quite sooner? It's kind of like it's like cope. It's like oh, you, you you got the better cities, but 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 I get to uh, have more. Apparently, my steam's my steam's crashed. My, my stream has crashed. I'm going to have to reset my Discord for our, our good peer. Just, yeah, well, if it freezes, chances are it don't work. Um, but yeah, when I see, when I see the, um, See that it's a bit of a cup because I'd rather just get my cities sooner. You know, on my back. Yeah, you're back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The stream went pretty good. yeah, the stream the stream will have cut off. Anyway, as I was saying, I feel like charismatics a little like all over the place. Well well I feel I think it isn't it doesn't actually really help you that much because Seems like you just have better city maintenance during wartime and stuff like that. I, I guess it would help with, with city maintenance in wartime, but if the war's going on that long, it's kinda like yeah. Why? I to be honest, I feel like this is like a filler stat because the thing with it is is um if if your if your cities are happy, you can run more people. That's brilliant and all, but you'd rather just get more cities in the early game and have the land you want and just work it through more cities. You know, this is like slow, and and because it's slow, it's not very good. Spiritual, on the other hand, isn't slow. Spiritual is like immediate, so. The, the thing with this is I reckon that charismatic is kind of like, you're supposed to not really look at this as like an important stat. You're supposed to look at spiritual. You're supposed to say spiritual. You also want to look at his unique building. And I feel like what charismatic's meant to be is it's meant to like, have, it has these three things because it's meant to, you're meant, you're meant to kind of take one of them and use that to supplement the other trait. Like spiritual seems like a trait you, you build around. And then like charismatic is like a little, a little like adder. Spiritual you know I mean? is a really good, trait because you can use it in diplomacy to like change your civics without being penalized and then switch back again you can also um rapidly switch between texts to like when it what whatever's better on that time and you save loads of turns on anarchy it's, just, it's pretty good spiritual is pretty good it's one of the one of the best ones um so yeah. it's kind of weighted against you don't get there's some leaders have two really good perks um traits most of them only have one Charismatic is. No, it's not probably too good. It's, yeah, it's not too good. It's probably better than some some of the other ones. Like, 
protective or something. Like, probably protective has some value to it, but it's kind of like, wow. Protective's the worst one, right? Don't really... It gives you, like, militaries a bit better in defending if they're archers or, or some junk. But, nah, it's a bit lame, yeah. I guess uh, he also, you, you level up your units a bit quicker. It's got a bit of, a bit of stuff. Anyway, I'm the Celts. So the Celts start with hunting and they start with mysticism. So you... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pretty bad. At least hunting, you can upgrade like deer or something, right? Mysticism, ugh. If you're playing on like a low level, if you kind of like know who you're playing against, if you're the only leader with mysticism, Maybe grab a early religion, yeah? That's, that's something I'll consider. If you're playing on a high difficulty, it's not even worth considering you can't do that. You can't do it. And the reason you can't do it is because the AI will just beat you to it. So it doesn't it don't matter that I start with mysticism because there's other leaders and they have mysticism as well. Also, researching a religion is kind of like, by economy, not worth it. The, I'd only consider it if I know I can win, so like if I had like a ton of gold, I might consider it. You know, like if one of these was gems, all right. But also, I had not to improve. I'm stuck right next to pigs. I got something to improve. I don't, I couldn't give a damn about a Roman religion. If I want to get a religion, which I do, if I'm gonna go for a culture game, I think this is the religion I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for Confucianism. What was that? The, uh, the reason for that is is that the AI doesn't rush to it as quick and you can oracle slingshot. So you go oracle, you research writing while you're doing it and then you then you bulb into it, you get that religion, you get a missionary straight away and you can start building courthouses. Oh, and you can run cast system. Gives you quite a decent bit. And then if the AI has um, alphabet, you can trade code of laws to them for alphabet, you can trade code of laws with them for mathematics you trade code a lot you basically trade code a lot with stuff because in this tech in this level of the game you uh, you kind of need to be able to trade techs with people to, to maintain your your technology because you won't be able to out compete them in, in research also they're trading with each other so you have to bring something to the table or you will fall behind in tech um so where am i going to settle That's a thought, this. That's a thought. I could I could maybe settle on the grassland there, right? Just making sure I can move to it, so I'm holding it down. I could settle on that grassland because it wouldn't... My unit would still have enough movement. And then when the borders expand, I can grab the pigs. I'm, I'm going to death for a moment. I got to... I'm going to listen to this. All right. What would I lose if I did that? If I'm gonna do that, I could have come over here instead. I come here and I go down there, I see. Well, this is woodland. So I'd see this tile and maybe this tile. That's like one tile and that's like a hill. That's a hill with a forest on it. So it ain't really gonna change what I, whether I go there, but if I find out that this is the coast, that could change what I decide to do. Okay. So that looks like it is the coast. But do I care? Now, I'm pretty sure this river will take me, will connect trade anyway. And I don't think I have any water tiles. This isn't a water tile, this isn't a water tile. These aren't water tiles, so I don't actually need any improved water tiles. If I settle here, I have one, two, three cottage tiles, cottageable tiles. If I go here, I have two. I have two. 
and I'm gonna I, I, and my state's gonna inherit this ice, which is terrible, and I lose those dies, which isn't the best, but it's, it's still something. I have vague memory of what the map looks like from when I played it in the past, but I don't want to dwell on that too much. There's something to consider. If I settle here, I lose that coin for like five turns or something. I lose it for a few turns. But instead I get hammers, does that matter? It doesn't actually matter. The the main reason I would want to sell here is that if this is the ocean, it could have a fish resource on it. But I feel like that might be a bit too YOLO. The safer thing is to just grab that coin for a couple turns. Okay. All right. And we'll get the worker. Alright, and so we're working that tile. That's good. There's some deer. They're in my tile. That's alright, I guess. I guess if I'd settled here, they could have expanded and, and claimed this, this tile there, which is that's quite nice. That is quite nice. I don't get that now. So if I'd settled there, I could have grabbed that. Now, the, the argument for not moving is because your big fat cross is likely to have like two food resources in it. I didn't know what the other food resource is, which is why I, I think moving was a bit risky. If I knew where the other food resource was and say it was like there, there I could have moved down and then I would have been able to grab potentially better tiles. And I would have been on the coast. Which means I could have built like work boats and stuff. Um, but I'm not I'm not too unhappy with that. There could be other tiles in my big fat cross that is that is useful that I now be know I'll be able to grab. But I guess that's alright, that's not too bad. Okay, so I'm not going for a religion. Animal husbandry is 14 turns. It'd be ready just before the worker comes out. That's all right then. And I think the plan I'm gonna go for as I go animal husbandry, I get the resource improved. I can, I've got trapping so I can then go trap this. Then I think I go for mining and bronze working so I can chop down forests or use slavery. I mean, I'm gonna have loads of food. Use the slavery to whip out maybe a worm, a settler, or something. And then at that point, I can also consider grabbing Mason and going for that Oracle slingshot, and then research writing while it, while I'm building the Oracle. Is that marble? That's marble. Yeah, I think that's what I do. There's no real point in moving there because my borders were expanding and it will reveal the tiles. I kind of want to explore up here, I guess. I don't want to take my scout too far away. Oh, I didn't know he would move if I scrolled out. Looks like we've got loads of tundra up here. It's not really going to be a lot of good stuff. I guess I could scout up here and look for like, I don't know, maybe a cottage or, or, or something. Maybe a food resource along the coast. But to be honest, I kinda don't care. We've got kind of tundra down here, but I know that I'm in Northern Europe. So they can't, there's got to be warmer environments down here. Come down and scout out down here, but maybe I start coming up this way. I might go there and then end in there. 
and then scout up up here just to make sure it's probably all just gonna be like really cold but then I can come check this out otherwise I'm just going straight through there if I go up here at least I can maybe find like a cottage or something Okay, there's a food resource. This might be a decent spot then. Mm, well, actually, no, it looks like a terrible spot, but at least we'll have a food resource in it, yeah? wait and then I'm going to jump down in there. I've just noticed now that the tile that I'm working has changed. Maybe I like swap them out when it's close to finishing so that the worker can leave and then work on it straight away. fish down there. Pigs? Ah. On a tundra tile though. Are these like woolly pigs or something? Okay, I don't know why. Ten turns. That's because I'm saying I would have lost by a turn. Or maybe I could have tried to race it, but. I would have had to fully, I, I'm pretty sure it would have been more than a couple of coins off. There's a bit of a baller move there, there could have been like a bear here or something. Is that a hill? No. If I go here I'd see more tiles, but if I go here I'd pretty much see the same anyway. But I also get to see this bit. Alright, we've got some planes, so it's a bit warmer down here. Yeah, I could swap out now. Get that hammer bonus. Which could be helpful in making the warrior afterwards. Okay. Pigs. Wonderful. Mm. Well, there's that line I was talking about. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. I want to grow the pop and then I'll work these two tiles to make settlers. Yeah, so I, I, I kind of need two pop to get the most value out of it. There we go. We start working on that. Rather than mining, this would take four, five, nine. We'll be able to mine, that's true, but what can I mine? And that is terrible.
Ben de kendim. I think the road might be better. I think the road might be better. Because it'll help my settle get out quicker. And I do need the road to connect the cities and get this stone and stuff. And it'll make my workers able to travel around this stuff place faster and improve it in the future. So I am actually going to go for a road. Because I've got nowhere to mine. I'm going to promote the unit because they're kind of sitting out in the open here. You can tell Mansa to, to get, get gone, gone back to where he came from. A wolf, maybe a wolf will come over and attack us. We probably could have gone for Hinduism and we would have won it, it looks like, but you can't you can never know what the AI is going for. I'd rather go to I'd rather go to this forest. Or would I? Forest is safer, especially now we've got our little pro bonus. I could go here and then try and like scout out like that. Let's check this hill. And then and then from this hill I'll be able to see it all. Alright, yeah, that's that's worked out alright. Why was he working this? Better not have been working that for all this time. Right. I'm gonna level up now. I'll level up our population. We'll use this scout to kind of go live some, move somewhere else. I kind of think those pigs are nice. Could set that right here, and then eventually I could get these pigs as well. But this would be like right within my big cross. Fresh water access. I go here. No, no. I mean, if I go here, get fresh water access on a hill. Defense bonus. Tribal hut, okay. I'm back. Ah, welcome back. Oh, shit. What's that doing? Um, not much. Just trying to take it slow. Hey, I always get good things from huts, so I should probably check it. Nice. I, really, I get good things because I'm using a scout. I'm going for the wheel because I've got nothing to mine. I've got this hill and it's terrible because it's, it will give me the same hammers as these two tiles. But whereas if I get the road, if, if I start building roads, I could get like a settler, like an extra turn out. And I'm not going to finish the warrior because I've got the scout around here and I think I'm going to come settle over here. And I can leave the warriors back up. I can use this scout to kind of like make sure there's no hostiles. And, and then this city will make warriors. This city can make settlers, and this city can make warriors. It's just where where do I build that that extra city? I don't think it will be grow. I think it will, will be growing actually quite quite quick if it's just making warriors, or at least a warrior to back it up. Do I do I just come down here and just? 
if I sell here, we get that, but like, what else is there? Uh, how, how long is your recording going on, by, by the way? I'm planning to go on, for, do the recording for like another hour. Okay. After that, you're taking a break? Yeah, I'll probably take a break now. Alright. Right, where am I gonna go? One. If I build roads there, it'd be even quicker. But like, it's not down here. If I settle right there. This city can help work a village for this city. And I know Mansa Musa is down here. If I'm doing that, I'm going to need to bring the scout home. Just to check, just to make sure. I do actually have the time to do that. I mean, it's like... But take like five turns and I could just see. Because if there's like a fish resource down here, it'd be, be, be worth doing, wouldn't it? Because then I can work this, the fish. I can build a mine on there and, and then the city becomes alright. So I think I will do that. And then I can imp come down here afterwards after I've got this worker, got this road going and They've got some warriors there. That's that's on that's an option. The other option is to come in and get these pigs, so that'll be five. And there'd be more prospects. I don't want to go for that because I don't want to have to research fishing yet. I need to go for copper. Then I can get fishing. But then again, this is a little peninsula, so this is like backfill. I can backfill that. That's just better, that's just a better tile. But this like gives me more more ground to backfill. So maybe I come over here, I settle right there. Or maybe even up here, then here, and then backfill into this. This is just junk. Not exactly hurting for gold. I think I'll keep my guy down here. Is that cost? Yeah, I think that's cost. I don't want to get caught with my pants down though, so I check. No, it isn't. But there, there's the cost now. change things. I could sell here. I've got a super tile there actually. That's food and hammers. Build a monument. Then I could go claim the sheep. That's a backfill spot. So this is probably where a city will go. But I probably want to like grab over here first.
can actually travel when I scout too far because there could be barbarian arms all over the place. Right here, build a monument, go blot this ground out, and then it will expand to there. It will grab those pigs and it will potentially deny this area to quite a lot of people. Backfill there. I've already got wine here, so I don't necessarily need that. And it might be there. It might be there. Build a monument straight up. bring the worker with them so the worker can help chop it out using bronze working make a mine there and then when the borders have expanded so chop it then build a mine then when the borders will probably expand at that point go and get the pigs Maybe that's the second step. Maybe it's here. Start making warriors. Then here. Okay, well, where, where? Maybe it is here after all, because at least here I could be whipping out warriors using this little crummy tile there. This just takes too much investment. This can just start going like straight up, so I think it's there actually. I think it is there. Yeah, I think I said, I think I'll go here. Yeah. Which means I'll bring the scout back. Put your shoulder to the wheel. <laughs> I don't know if anyone could hear that, but my belly just made the biggest growl I've ever heard. It's because I'm seeing all these loaves of bread. Right, I'm going to bring the scout here. And then what will happen is the brood will finish before I can move the scout next turn. There we go, so now the scout can actually move an extra tile. So I can move all the way to here and scout out a little bit. Okay, so I could safely come on this hill. Okay. That's all right, actually. Look, this 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 spot is actually all right. I can grab the deer. I got them. Those cows will suck, but it could be a two food, two hammer tile, so it will feed itself. Um, and it will have that wine yard, which will be another food tile. So I'll probably be able to work both these hills. So I think this is an all right tile considering, and it's near my capital. So I think I have to go get. I have to get there now. Don't, I'm pretty sure Mansa Moose is really close by. He found me on like turn three. Also, this looks like this is safer, so I think this is just the strategically better movement. It it would deny barbarians from this area potentially. And then I can expand over here when I've got some when I got these cities protected a little bit. Hey, do hey, hey, dude, do you know how how the penalty for building roads works? 
I know that like on a tundra tile it takes an extra turn t to build improvement. Does it take an even extra turn if it's on ice? I don't know. Actually, I th you, you, you would know more about that than I do. I think it does. I think it does. Can you look at the, the things in the like little wookie thing? You can have like, a wookie thing. I found Mansa Musa, I think. He's, he's close. Uh, yeah, I believe I can. I'm, from my memory, it does. Um, uh, a, a, after this recording, I, I, I want to run a couple things by you to so, so uh, get some user feedback here. Yeah, yeah, all right. It looks but like if, you need to, if, if you need to take a break afterward, that's fine too. I can, I can talk to you on the break about something else. But, um, but yeah, look, look, look how I'm, I it looks like I was right. Tundra, 25% work time penalty, whereas Ice is 50% work time penalty. So this worker here, <laughs> they could move to there and then start, well, they can't because the wolf's there, so that's dangerous. Um, but interestingly, my guy was here and he saw these and there weren't any hostiles. Or he might have just been there. I'm pretty sure it was on the hill. <laughs> I'm not gonna chance it. I don't know what's over there. There could be like a wolf there or something. He could have like moved like. No, no. If there was, yeah, yeah, there could be a wolf there. He could have, he could have been there and then moved to there. No, no, no. I would have seen him. I'm safe to move then. So I just had to move so that I'm far enough away from the wolf. So I move to there. I've got overflow. Yeah, I've got far overflow. I'm gonna start making another settler. Oh no, no, I'll, I'll do the warrior and then the warrior can sentry bust. I can bring the warrior out here and. Go away, game. <laughs> Game's trying to tell me to build on this ice, dude. Look at this. Game's like, I think this is a good spot. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> you see this? It's literally. The game's literally saying that. The, game, the reason the game's saying that is because these two are in the fat cross. But how am I going to get them? I'm going to have to build a monument first, so then I'll be spending tons of turns building a monument. Yeah, what was that? Four useless tiles? Uh, three. Like I said, it, it, that, that's all right, I guess. It's got some decent tiles in it, but no, because this city is going to be using those. You know what? Actually, to be fair, settling there gets you those three, but you can. Mm, yes, but it'll take too you, you long. You can get to that build. anyway. You and can I, and yeah, that. I can get them anyway. I'd rather build. I'd rather build. Here, there, get them yeah, cows, yeah. get that, Absolutely. get that, and get that, and then at least I'm on, I'm on a river. That you know, or um, river. that that or the bottom right area, like relative to your base. Like, like, what's wrong with the right area? Like, oh, you're trying to cut off Monson Musa, but yeah, yeah, I, I think I need to cut off Monson Musa. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm saying like, what, what about that right area as well? That would be like, that would be like after that, you go there, right? Get the, get that oh yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna backfill into that. You can see here there's coast here. There's no one else around here. I can get that later. Yeah. Um, also, I can like move my settler down and I can actually build the next turn. And I can grab this tile already. Um, so I'll be working both these tiles. This can, can use this hill for a bit before I whip out a settler because it won't be work or a worker. Probably a worker instead, maybe. I'd have three settlers at that point. So I'm going to be building another settler, and then I can have three cities. Mansa Musa got Hinduism. I just noticed that now. Is that a problem? That's a problem. 
that that, uh, that might be a problem. I might have to kill Mansa Musa. What's his unique units? That's why people laugh at me for saying I think I need to kill Mansa Musa because he's like really powerful or something. He's the uh, Malay. Molly, you mean? Whatever. <laughs> Think of uh, you're thinking of the uh, Argentinian president, skirmisher. Ouch, archery unit. Ouch, that's kind of ass for me. It's in the early game, but it replaces archer. It's more of a defensive unit. It is more of a defensive unit, but I'm gonna kill him. I guess you can rush with skirmishers, right? No, he, he'll be too strong. He'll be too strong. But by the time I think his holy city is going to be a problem, either it might not be a problem for me anymore, or I'll have you know like a, I'll have like later game units. You know, we'll be using like um, catapults and stuff. So it'd be like, oh no, he's got his he's got his blooming uh, skirmishers. Well, he should be upgrading them into longbowmen. Oh, apparently my, my stream for us. Just reboot that. It'll take him a while to get to there. It'll be closer to me anyway. Game suggests there. sell here and then go sell there. This could open up trade through this little strip here. do want religion, so getting his Hinduism is, is something that I do actually want. Uh, and this place is going to make a warrior. Then I can have that warrior do what I need it to. Or, monument early? Um, I do actually need warriors. Probably more right now. Our barbarians could spawn over here, so. Ah. The place I could position this guy, not not really. This is like the biggest, the biggest blind spot. If you could just wait with that guy for a bit. 
So they're using that. They're using that. He's wanting to go there. Take that there like this. Um, getting a settler out, another one, is probably more important. So I'll probably do it like that instead. Have him do that. Yeah. Yeah. This means it grows a bit slower, but I actually don't need it to grow that quick. Not yet, at least. Do I get a worker instead? I mean... I don't think I do, actually, because once this is done, there's not much for it to improve. It's going to be like coming back over here to try and... We want to go over here now. Oh, there. It might be better that we come over here and just like just hard deny this this territory. Whoa, what's going on here? Want to say hello to the viewers? Oh, a viewer. Oh, oh, I'm back. Yeah, I forgot to rejoin after getting disconnected. Mm -hmm. Not much has happened. I've got one of the cats climbing up here. He's all wet as well, because he must have been outside where it's raining. Bringing his freezing fur over to me. Hey, do your cats have a litter box? Begins by carrying away yes. small stones. Yes, they do have a litter box. How fast for this to grow? Actually, do you know what? This should grow. This should grow, and then I can use. I can get an extra hammer, and I can use it in whipping. I probably grow first, and I do need. I need an, another warrior to protect this, because then I can bring this warrior down here, and they can deny this ground, and then this is completely safe from barbarians, which is quite nice. Egyptians. Yeah, well, obviously Egypt's down there. Um, I've decided against building a monument just yet because I, I want warriors instead to, to century bust for my expansion. But also, this guy's got the holy city, right? If I can open up trade with him, which I hope will happen, if his borders expand a bit more. Actually, I mean. He would have to get sailing before that happened. He, no, no, he might build a road then, and I do like road, road, and then I can just get the religion from him through trade. But I'll probably still build a monument there anyway for the culture bonus. Three turns. <laughs> Two turns. I'm gonna start doing that. Oh, how many turns until it grows again? Two. I'm actually gonna let it hit population four. Because then I'm planning on whipping it. Then I'll also have that warrior. So yeah, it's not going according to according to prophecy. Awesome, extra gold bonus, always nice, always nice. And I, I do want to know where copper is because then I can make axemen. So I am going to let my research go full.
Right, I need to think. So I was thinking, do I expand here and just completely cut this land off from uh, the Malaysians? Because I could see that, like, if I let him, if I don't expand here, he, because you see, there's this little strip. He could, he might go like, oh, well, I want that fish, and come over and grab that fish. But then again, like this, if he does, it might be easy to know when to attack him because I'll be able to like have borders on close to him, and it will cut this city off. Then again, it also give him a staging point to attack me. There's not really any area to improve there anyway. Um, I can. I feel, like if, I feel like if he if he ends up building a city that close to you, you can just easily mulch him anyway. Yeah, like, he'd, be, I mean, he'd, be, he'd be right it might next be worth to me. Just expanding, yeah, it might just be worth expanding to the right there. And That's what just... I'm thinking. I'm thinking that, like... Yeah, I mean, if he, if he ends up, like, building a city there, you just mulch it, and, and then you um you snowball. Try to do that, yeah. You've got to remember that I am playing on Monarch, so they'll, they'll have... So the they'll advantage. be stronger, I, I understand. This will grow, and then I can... I probably actually you also like a human being you're playing against AI. <laughs> so That's true, yeah. It's not entirely uh one sided. When it comes to a road though, I'd rather build the road here. Because when you cross a river you lose the penalty. It's like a penalty for movement. Until you have bridge making. But yeah, I think you're right. I think I want to expand over here because look we've got pigs here. Pigs are awesome. This this bit's just nice. I think I need to come over here and cap that. Especially since the Greeks. I've, I've heard this civilization called the Greeks, right? That apparently they live down here. You know? I've, I've heard that through the grapevine. These these uh, Egyptian people, they've come over and said, Oh, yo, you met the Greeks yet? And I'm like, what? No. Who, who are they? And they're like, oh, they live down there in that, in that area. to build it though. To be honest, if he builds a city here, it kind of helps me as well because it means barbarians can't spawn in this peninsula. So it's kind of like I get a benefit from it more than he does because he'll be stupid and he won't know that like you don't need to keep units in it. Whereas I do because he's like I'm not worried about him attacking me. Ideally though, I get his religion. So if he builds here, I, I think it will connect trade. And I might need one road and then I'll have a trade route with him as well. So it won't be that difficult to get a trade route up with him and get his religion. And then when I have his religion, he'll probably like me and he could be my tra tech, tech trading partner, you know. Probably the wrong call actually to build the, the mine right now because if I'm building this cellar, I don't want to have the worker move real soon. Okay, so where am I going? Like threatening me. Oh, undefended civilization. How do you get over here? That scout's been traveling far, hasn't he? 
Yeah, he must be loyal to travel that far. Still be loyal to. I so as always so sort of struck me as kind of weird about this uh, the early game is that you have these scouts that have been traveling for like what hundreds of years basically, right? Yeah. Somehow, and it's like somehow sending communications back. Yeah. So like you, you can accept like this distance. Yeah, hey, that's actually a good point. You say that like pitch if there was like a defection mechanic where like your units if they're like not commanded you know they're not like properly commanded or financed or whatever they defect and in the early mm -hmm. game it would be like you need stations of command so you scouts if they, if, if like my scout was all the way over here you'd like defect or he had it, the chance for him to defect would increase yeah i thought about that but then i thought like but i'm what, just not sure how, how much that would really add the, the, the thing the thing is right is that this this scout sending information back, you got to think of it that it isn't like this guy's here. It's more like this is a platoon and there's like units all along. Yeah, this yeah. Area, you know? they, 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 they probably send some back to record or whatever. Yeah, you know, like little pigeons. And and them moving, them moving like that, it's... It, maybe it takes a while because they have to like pack up their shit and then like, you know, I don't know. To be honest, it doesn't make ton of sense to me but I, I guess it invites its own level of like creative thinking like you maybe maybe that scout you just moved over there like maybe there's some like a little fucking boat down the river for all i know it's like says like oh yeah xyz shit here i don't, I don't fucking know sends out his little boat they're getting a boat and... well this is like a river i don't know maybe it's like build a boat like no not a good argument <laughs> Oh, that's right. You don't have fishing yet, do you? No, I don't have fishing yet. But you can. Your civilization still has boats because um, they could trade via rivers. Like you see here, there's no road connecting this road to here, but they can travel on this river. So it's like they've got primitive boats. They haven't got like, but advanced boats to like, like they've got like fishing boats and stuff. Blumming bastard. Anyway, yeah, that would be cool. It's just uh, I don't know how much that. I, would really I, I think it, I think it could add a lot to the game because do you know like how espionage espionage has got like kind of limited vul usefulness in the early game. Bitch, if you could like use your espionage points to like make a unit. Buy, like, buy, you could like buy out the 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 spies or yeah. Um, you could you could like buy a scout, purchase the the scout, and turn it into a spy. Yeah, or that, like that 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 would, that would be cool. Purchase a scout, turn it into a spy. Yeah, you could do stuff like that, and it would it would it would, it would um, encourage. Like it could be that if you've got all your units in a big stack, the chance that some of them defect increases because they're like overcrowded, and over and and it's understaffed, you know. So it could be used to mitigate large stacks. When you send out a spy, is it like you're sending out one, or like, like you're not, I don't think you're sending out like a thousand. Like, like, like how much is one spy? Do you think? I, I, I think it's like one to five. Probably like, probably like one to five spies, but there'd be like other spies doing other stuff in there, like. Well, so what, what I was thinking, right, is like, how much is a scout? Well, a scout to me is way more than five. Yeah, there'd be like forty. Well, would have been like yeah. tons of people. Along the well, way so, as well. so so maybe maybe what it is is like if you buy out like a scout or let, let's say like a scout defects to you, right? Yeah. Maybe that would give you like an extra. Um, maybe like three spies, two spies, or something. Maybe maybe give you like an extra. What what would you get for that? Because that's like that's like a you you would get like extra hammer hammers that turn or extra bread. What would it be? You probably just get the scout. You get the scout unit, or you could convert it into hammers on your next unit that you're producing. So your nearest city would produce a unit with quicker hammers. Like yeah, that. yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, like that. Yeah. And you could use that as like a pseudo like rushing tactic. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that could add a lot to the game. I just, uh, the game already has so much. So. Oh, 
Oh, dude, I've noticed... So I, I, I just recalled something now that makes charismatic maybe even better than I thought. Hmm. An extra happiness reduces the penalty from whipping. It's like you get one free whip. That's pretty good. It's true. Because the the the, 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 the most likely reason your city is going to be unhappy in the early game is because you've whipped them. Yeah, and if I recall correctly, uh, that Henrik guy said like you get a lot of momentum in, in warfare. You can you can just snowball people a lot easier with charismatic because you can upgrade units and yeah, like that's that's a you nice can get like medic upgrades advice. quickly and you you can, yeah it's a it's a good snowball upgrade like relative to even like relative to, to like aggressive and and pretty much any other perk in the game. I mean, what 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 perk is better at snowballing really in in uh, warfare? Be like financial when you get uh, banks, mm. or no? What? What's the one that lets you convert money to uh, hammers? There isn't any that lets. Oh, you oh, oh you, you, it's the you get yeah you get wealth. You mean, right? you, mean you mean industrious? Industrious. When, you, when... You, what you do with industrious is you build a wonder quicker than other people do, and then you turn it into fail gold, and you get a bonus on the fail gold because your your extra hammers from your your perk. I believe that's what you're referring to. No, I'm 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 saying what what what, what thing lets you turn uh use uh gold as hammers? I think it's when you get wealth when you research wealth. Oh, um, can build wealth in currency. You can't you can't turn gold. Oh, I, I forget what you're referring to. You referring it, to it, it, it's slavery. Suffrage. It's slavery, but with gold. Yeah, you spend you spend gold instead. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You're referring to universal suffrage. That's that's way down the line. Okay. That's like where's universal suffrage in this? It's uh, it's here, all the way over in democracy. You can oh, get yeah, it. Well. You can get it early if you build the pyramids. And if you're a spiritual leader and you build the pyramids, you can like adopt universal suffrage by a building that you otherwise couldn't do, and then go back to being slavery in like five turns. <laughs> so you can do stuff like that. So funny. All right, guys, we're uh, enacting slavery again. <laughs> Like I'd rather build a monument rather than the worker because then I can get those extra cool tiles and I kind of, the sooner I get a building here that helps me with culture, the, the better in the long run. Because this is going to become like, a, this is going to become contested territory. So I think that, I think it's time to start getting that monument. Also, I need to be thinking about what three cities I'm going to use for, um, a culture victory, and it's probably going to be VN, Bribrakati, and Thingy, because I think VN's going to be able to get enough hammers with this setup here, and even a bit of that as well. Oh, I've got this hill as well. They've got enough hills and, and potential food sources that it could feed itself to build the temples. So I think it, I think that could be a good culture place. It might have to build. It might have to be the one that builds the Hermitage, because it's not going to have any. I guess it's going to have like one gold producing tile there and potentially one there, but probably not because of this contested territory. I'd have to like kill him, but maybe maybe I kill him in the late game and take it. You know, he builds a cottage on it and I, I take his cottage. I take your cottages as well. Right, I'm gonna find out where Cock is. It is entirely seemly for a young man killed in battle to lie mangled by the bronze spear. In his death, all things appear fair. Yo, that ta that place has become even better. Look, it's got copper on it as well. I guess that's not that good. I mean, it's like, uh, no, that's pretty good. That's a five hammer tile. That's pretty nice. That's pretty tasty. That's pretty tasty too. Damn. Damn. Yo, I know I'm building then. I need to. I need to. I need to get that settler down here. 
There's no copper over here, but there's copper right there. Yeah. Damn, dude, look at this site here for a city. Copper, sheep, clams, pigs. Grassland hill, grassland hill, grassland hill. All right. Four, three river tiles. Four river tiles. Dude, this is like beast city. You seen it? Hmm. Look at that. Yeah, that's, that's cool. why it's really good. I, 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 I have to go grab that now. Oh, uh, wait, why not do the... um? Wait, wait, why there? Why not? Why not the, 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 this is further away, right? So it like it holds the ground better, and then I can come and backfill into this bit later because another leader isn't going to go right by my city at this. Oh, I, I, I guess you also grab the uh, the sheep too. Right? Yeah, yeah. If I go here, I grab the sheep, I grab okay. the copper, wait, I grab the wait, 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 and wait, I grab the piece. No, no, no. I think. Why don't you do the one to the left? What do you mean the one to the left? What's the one you highlighted? Yeah, the one up one to the left in that far. Isn't that better? No. I think it is. Well if I if I go one to the left, it'll take longer before I can get copper. I don't get the sheep. Um Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, the copper, yeah. Fuck. I, I I lose a site where I mean I trade a cottage for a hill. I, I will get the grass until that's true. Why why did you want me to build here for the wine? Uh, you get the wine, you get the pigs. Oh, I guess you get the pigs anyway. Yeah, that anyway. wine's kind of bad. Two food and one hammer. It's bad. Uh, and, you, and, you, and you get extra tiles, right? How many extra tiles do you get for that? Just one. If I settle one to the left. That's two coarse tiles, additional. Whereas if I settle there, I, I yeah, I, I get I get more tiles. I get more tiles. That's that's the spot. That's the spot. You get more tiles on that one. I get more tiles on that one. Yeah. If if I settle on the one to the left, there's an additional two coarse tiles, which is like junk. It's total junk. There's also less river tiles, I think. So if I settle there, I've got one, two... The coast tile is like four. way infinitely better than a mountain tile. Oh, you're referring to those mountain tiles. That's true. Yeah, you, you I, you I have really, like... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's tiles. true. That's, oh, all right, no, no, all right, I know what you mean. Yeah, but you're still not going to use them. You're not going to use those coast tiles unless you have to. I I look, like these mountains, I, I see what you mean now. I, I think those mountains, though, they're not that big a deal. I'm not going to get the city that's so big that it's not working anything. I'll stick him in Specialist if, I, if, if that ever became a thing. It's a nicer problem to have. Oh, fuck. If I settle there, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 river tiles. Whereas I settle here, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, it's just, yeah, and, and I'm, I'm on the copper straight away. I think it's there. Fucking okay, annoying how far away they put it in some of these game modes. What game modes? Or oh, the oh, higher copper. I guess. Mean copper. Yeah, I, I, the last world I did, I was playing as Greece and like it's so fucking far away. It was like it literally. Actually, I didn't have it, copper. I, 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 I had to. Yeah. I had to get iron. I, I didn't have copper. I had to get iron. The copper was literally right next to another civilization, yeah, and, I, and I rushed a. Uh, I actually managed to rush a settler down there, and build right next to him. It was literally like like across the continent. So I was like getting mad taxes, but. Uh... I'm kind of gonna keep a scout around here because I'm bringing this warrior over to like reinforce it. Dude, can this guy like respond? There's the Greeks. Um... I'll be right back. I'm gonna like feed the fucking shitters. Didn't somebody say beware of geeks bearing gifts? Yeah. <laughs> 
I think I will whip that out. And Samusa goes for Judaism. What is this guy's this guy's religion hoarding? I'm going to whip out another settler. So actually, I need to be thinking about where I want to put him. Probably, probably start backfilling a little bit. So it'll help with trade. Copper, I'm gonna have stone, I'm gonna have marble. And I've been going for masonry. Because then I can go for. Build the quarry and go for a priesthood. Do that oracle. Just down there, keep that guy safe. Okay, we can go off of that and go back to building a worker here because I think I'm going to need, need a worker especially because this border's but yeah by the time that border's then grown I can come over and I can build that yeah 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 so I need a worker now plan <laughs> Could be a wolf on there. There is a wolf there, so it's all good. So he can come over and start getting ready. Mm 
Yes. I can put that out now. Let me just check my financial. Cities are costing me one. Settler for the time being. Right, it's costing me one, and that one's cost me an additional two. Do a monument. Let's just start building the mine then straight up. And then that can be a military city until it transitions over to its long term purpose. I got another settler. Okay, I do need workers now though. This worker's plug plodging along. Yep, that's all good. That's all fine. Maybe I come over and maybe I do backfill it then. Maybe I I mean I reinforce I put it there. There's a lot of food sources. And it does mean I'll have it every fish resource potentially. be the play because fish is also good for commerce and then that'd be the back well for later this is kind of like not yeah i think this is more pressing okay we'll try that oh the greeks are damn like they're quite close actually This is bit's kind of that bit's kind of safe now, yeah. When this borders expands, I don't think it, I think this will be safe as well. But until then, <laughs> yeah. Do I settle there instead? That does give the potential for those sheep. It's a bit, a bit turbo greedy though. But it will drive up tensions. I can think about that. Right. Overflow to go into that, I believe. Yes.
Is this city going to be... This city will be working some decent tiles. <laughs> I think getting another settler ready is, is a good call. It is from their foes, not their friends, that cities learn the lesson of building high walls. Okay. Um, but I am going to phase out of it. I think it's a bit late to go for a great wall. I don't really have masonry ready any I don't really have the I don't even have the stone available yet. It's like getting ready for the stone. I actually don't want to get ready for the stone, I want to get ready for marble. That's true. If, if I want that marble, I will need to sell. Persons to target. I think Mansa Musa. Maybe. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to keep it even for the time being. Silver. Sells there, I could lose those sheep. That's where he sent his settler. Maybe postpone fishing. Get ready for the Oracle slingshot earlier, then go fishing, then go library. settler back down. This place is making a settler. No. No. They could do a fishing right now and it'll help it grow quicker. And then I can get gold and maybe pretty much get there anyway. Take like 13 turns. I think I gotta go for it now. After I, I can't be dilly dallying. Which means I need to get ready to secure that marble. So it will help me connect this copper up. This is a prime location.
We are growing here. Mindful that there was a bit of grey territory there, but I figured this scout has kind of ensured that this area is not spawned a barbarian. But it's probably needlessly risky. I should have had my warrior like here. I could have moved in and then back or whatever. Or followed him with this one. But that was an error. I can get this ready, yeah. This just seems like a monster location, like right here. Is it going to remain as it is? Okay. Okay, I'll give the recording a bit more love, but I am going to have to call it at two hours. I just, I just have to. So. Maybe I do actually need fishing as a higher priority. I can get it in four turns. <laughs> Monument. So it's going to work that tile there. I will add gold. Um, Start building the quarry first. So, I don't really have enough turns to invest in it. So, my economy will. My research is going to crash. I don't actually have enough money to continue researching at this speed. So, I think I, I have to grab fishing after all. I think I'll start building a monument in there for the culture bonus. If I am going for back. multiple cities. Oh, welcome back. I'm going to go give it another like 
90 minutes and I'm gonna call it. Oh, your stream was done. A stream? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I must have stopped sharing the screen. Um. That will help with the commerce culture. I've decided I have to go for fishing. Not only because I have so many fish resources, but my gold income is really low. Or at least it's it's starting to dwindle. Actually, let me see how long. If I kept it at a low rate. 8, 9, 10, 11. I guess I could do that. Yeah, 11, and that's about the time I need to, to have the oracle, uh, to have the marble access. So yeah, yeah, actually I won't go for fishing yet. I'll do fishing as soon as it's done. And hope that my cities are able to grow so that I can maintain the research that they're currently going for. Right, I've got an extra warrior. I think I'm going to bring the warrior out to kind of like Fog bust a little bit. I think uh, getting a warrior up here to fog bust this bit is going to be kind of important. Um, this guy can kind of fog bust like right there, I guess. You know about fog busting, right? Yeah. I've, I've, I, I snapped this city location now rather than over here to get the marble and uh, also um, it, it, I, I noted how it, it it's going to like to make sure barbarians don't spawn in this bit so as soon as this monument turn grows it's like barbarians can't spawn anywhere in the mainland area they can only spawn in the peripheries and if when I build a city here, it's like the only place barbarians can spawn is like this, the, these, these sides. It's really going to help. Noting that the Greeks are here, it's kind of like barbarians have like. You know what? I don't even think barbarians can spawn here because he can see there. I guess I guess barbarians could spawn on the horses. When I when my borders grow to this mountain be able to see the horses and then the barbarians won't be able to spawn here either. Will they be able to spawn there? They might be able to. I need to build um Oh I've got copper! I've got copper so I can start building axemen. So I think I, I think I I'm, I'm I'm in the good time now. I'm in the good times. You basically need copper to kill the variants at this stage. I'll start building the axe and then I'll switch over to a barracks. need then is um, a road kind of like here here or there and there I do actually need the roads so I come here I do a road there and a road here not there because of the terrain negative or maybe there I'll be able to decide when I get there look 
the payload over there, mate. Talk about, you know, the promised land. Holy shit. Oh, mama. You gonna reach for it? I can't. It'll break my economy. If I can nab yeah. the silver, that'd be enough. But I like nab this bit here. I don't know if you can see my cursor, but like a bit to the left of my scout. Do, do, do the EMP blast thing. Oh yeah, if I can like nab here or here, then I'm laughing. In fact, if I nab, if I nab the second one, I get wheat. So I just get everything. I mean, if I can nab where the scout is right now, I get the wheat, I get the silver, I get spices, I get dyes. I get yeah, that would be, be a fat fucking city. I think you want two cities there, though. I, I do, but I have to be mindful that my maintenance is starting to get quite high. Well, it's actually not actually that high yet, but it will get it will get high. And I don't want to spread myself too thin. Um, like, I don't want to rapidly expand over here because it's good. it'd be a long maintenance cost. Like, how much is this? This city's costing me two coins. It's only, it's slightly on the pain itself. That will change when I have fishing, because I'll be able to work that and when I have that. So it will change. When this city's population grows, it will pay for itself. But like, this city isn't paying for itself at all. Hey, do, I have it do, you, do you drink milk by itself? Do I drink milk by itself sometimes? Why? Does it like taste good to you, or is it just like whatever, tastes or is it kind of weird? Tastes good, but I drink whole milk. Yeah, same. Don't drink any of that skim junk. Skim. Skim nasty. Yeah, I don't drink any of that. I'm 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 drinking organic whole milk right now. Um, I, I don't know. Nectar uh, of I, I, the I, gods. I, I, I wish I wish I liked it more. Like, it's okay, but it, I don't know how to describe it. It used to taste weird to me in the past, and I've, I've like become more accustomed to it, and I'm becoming more accustomed to it. I, I feel like a mutant, bro. <laughs> because you don't like milk. Uh, because I didn't like milk, yeah. It's pretty weird, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. I'm starting to drink it more because I'm trying to I'm trying to like get myself to like it more. The more I drink, it, the more I like it. Yeah, I guess it tends to be like that. Yeah, I was like that with alcohol. Well, you like alcohol. Uh. It's all right, alcohol. Kinda, I guess. Kinda, kinda. Yeah, yeah it's an acquired taste. Every every time I've had a beer, I've enjoyed it like more and more each time. That said, that's not saying much because like now I now I, I I can like drink it without making a face. Meditation brings wisdom. Lack of meditation leaves ignorance. Know well what leads you forward, and what holds you back. Definitely, I definitely think I'm going to play this game for culture. Um, Station this guy here, they could still spawn there, but if I put him here, then they, they just can't spawn this bit at all. 
Right, working two, and I finally gained access to that. That's nice. So I have a free Tyler there that's awesome in food. Gives a bit of coinies. Gives me some coinies. I'm kind of happy with that. Get some coinies out of it. Yeah. Oh, dude, I was I was wondering like if I play like Uber Greed and I build there instead. Thinking, I'm going to steal those sheep. But remember, remember he's like Holy City's there. So I, I don't think I'd ever get the sheep. Yeah, I don't think uh, you should do that. I think all it would do is pee, pee them off, make him angry. Because that means my culture borders will hit his more. I think I'll go there. But I'm going to go there next turn. I think you go where instead? Oh, just, just sell the fish crabs? Yeah, sell the fish crabs. Yeah, 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 that's what I was going to say, yeah. The only reason I the only reason I would settle there is if his settle like pops right there. And I'm thinking like, ooh damn, but it that ain't happening, so I mean, it is actually possible that I could take those sheep. Yeah, are, 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 are you still recording? I'm still recording, yeah. I'll be recording for another six minutes. Hmm. Uh, please save any questions till after the... <laughs> Six minutes. Dude, dude, why not settle? Why not settle on the uh, the tile where the workers right uh, on my guys right now? It's less maintenance cost, all right. And with one monument, I'll be able to build on both those things, and I'll probably build a monument first thing for culture radius. It shares the it shares the sheep, it shares the cows. So why why won't I why won't I settle where the workers right uh, where the settler is right now? Wait, sorry, what are you asking? Oh, well, why don't you just settle there? Yeah. Because I, uh, I can't build fishing boats yet. The first thing I'm building is a, a monument. Monument? Oh, okay, yeah, if you're doing that, then, uh, then why not do that area up there to get the clams? I'd rather get the crabs. I've already got clams over there. Alright. Also, if I settle near the, over there with the clams, I don't have fresh water. I guess it is. I guess it is true, though. It, 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 it is true that I get an extra river tile. That's true, as in like a river cottage. But if I settle here, I deny him more land, and I have the potential to steal his sheep. <laughs> and this is just the, the the final benefit. I could always settle on that tundra near the warrior. And then work those clowns in a separate city. Okay. How does it come up with new city names after you've run out? Does it just like take something from the language and... I don't think it will run out because it's got like a hundred in it. For each sieve? Yes. 
How do they like? Do they only add cities that have like a hundred some some odd cities? Um, if 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 a if, if for whatever reason a civilization didn't have a hundred cities from which to pick a name, I'm pretty sure they'll just make them up. They would have just made them up before the game. Yeah, I'm saying like, which ones do they have to make? Do they have to make anything up from like for like the Sumerians? Um, they might have had to. So I'm, I'm, I'm like thinking, do the Sumerians really have like a hundred cities that we know of? Try the Mal Malaysians. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yo, dude, look. Apparently, they want they want to join the Malays. Are you looking at this? Hundred percent Celtic. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. I I wonder who in the city wants to join the Malays. Maybe it's some of those spies we were talking about. You know. <laughs> dude, this would be like going into um, in Gaza right now and. Asking like being like the, the, the Gazans want to join Israel. <laughs> I'm like, oh, do they? <laughs> I, I don't think they do. <laughs> sink all money into priesthood. Right, so they're doing that. These guys are doing a worker. I'm going to get them to build a worker instead. Because um, it's pretty much working maximum tile capacity. They're doing a monument. This monument will be finished and then I can start working on the oracle. That's nice, that's nice. get these guys to do a road road and I can have them do like the road piggyback system you know the scheme the road piggyback scheme yeah that's nice um, kinda oh, everyone's happy with me they have to, to think uh, that we've had peace for so long yeah built Stonehenge yet. Well, it won't stay. But I get some fail gold, right? So, so let's try and build Stonehenge, I suppose. Do the road piggyback. Do that little road piggyback scheme there. Does anyone have the capacity to open trade borders? No, no, they don't. No one's got right yet, it looks like. I'm going to finish this turn just because I want to see how many turns it, the game says it will take for me to build what's its face and uh, I guess I will try and build Stonehenge in Gergovia just because I can get some um, fail gold out of it in which case he'll do the road, they'll do the road then maybe they, sc maybe they scurry up here and then quickly build a quarry there. Maybe I shouldn't have gone there at all, maybe I should have moved them there. Hmm. I don't know, 
I'll think about it next time. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. 15 turns to build the oracle. Do you know what? I totally do need to build the quarry there instead. Because I need to get the hammers from cutting down the forest over here to get the oracle done sooner. <laughs> Did you see the video? Uh, no. No. The, the class search Swap one. Oh, that one, yeah. I've seen that one. It was it singing the song about eating the bugs, owning the nothing. Yabor, yabor, yabor. Alright, good call out there, guys. I'm going to get this published and then get on to the YouTube. Peace, Merry Christmas, and, and stuff. And I'll, I think I'll schedule this to go out on Tuesday, tomorrow, maybe. Whatever. All right, see ya.